let's talk about how to get rid of hiccups the real way. So I'm Tiffany, I'm a physician assistant, but also a GLP-1 advocate. So I help people get access to GLP-1s that cannot get them through traditional insurance. So if that's something you're struggling with, there are some links over here in my bio that hopefully can help you out. Okay, here's some weird things that people have told me that they have tried to get rid of their hiccups. Swallowing a spoonful of sugar. Saying the word purple grapes over and over. Holding a frozen spoon on their tongue. Or my personal favorite, getting a jump scare. So spoiler alert, those are all kind of urban legends. They may distract your brain for just a second, but they don't really get at the root cause of the hiccups. So here's the real deal. Hiccups are actually a spasm in your diaphragm. Your diaphragm is the dome shaped muscle that's located underneath your lungs and it separates your chest cavity from your abdominal cavity. So when it spasms, it actually slams your vocal cords shut and makes that weird little hick sound. So if we wanna stop hiccups, we've really got to target the diaphragm muscle. So what does science say that we need to do? So what you've gotta do is you've gotta take a big, long, deep breath in and you've got to hold it for as long as you can. And then we, when you think you cannot hold it any longer, then you have to breathe in just a little bit more. Okay, why does this work? It's because when you fully expand your lungs to their max capacity, it actually puts pressure on your diaphragm muscle and helps break up that spasm. So bonus tip, if you want to try to avoid getting hiccups, here's some things you can do. So try to drink more slowly and don't gulp air when you drink. Try to skip the fizzy or carbonated drinks because they put more air in your esophagus and try to slow way down when you're eating. Okay, pretty simple, right? And nobody's gotta jump out of a closet and scare you out to death. So make sure you save this video so you'll know what to do the next time you get the hiccups.